Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Zvezda. So this is a 135 scale kit which copies M4A2 Sherman with 75mm main gun. And this is a kit in popular scale, we have several markings inside as you can see for USSR and also US markings. And it will be interesting to see what is included here, I mean Sherman is quite popular tank type among model manufacturers and this year and previous year several brands released their own views on this tank so this time we have Zvezda and this is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review so we are going to open it together and check everything closer. First of all box is not that big we have really nice box art here you can see comparison with my hand then on the side we have some information about this kit there are 277 parts and assembled model will have a length of 17 centimeters Next, on the rear side here, we have some short information about the real tank, again the same data about the kit, and of course photos of the assembled vehicle. Of course it will be up to you what you would like to paint and weather, but here you get one of the options how to build your kit. And here we have other kits in 135 scale. This one was reviewed on our YouTube channel, so if you would like to check it, just type in the kit number it's 3659 and you will see more about this kit what i'm doing at the moment i'm trying to cut through this sticky tape because usually the kits from zvezda they are come sealed from the side so i'm going to open this box and here we have quite interesting feature of Zvezda kits is that I mean if you did not have any experience with Zvezda kits before so here we have box in a box let's say which is really cool because you get the color printed part which is really colorful and then we have sturdy a cardboard box which is actually used for protection of all the parts so you shouldn't be worried about any possible issues here is what we have inside so as you can see plastic parts are packed into the same plastic bag I can see that we also have separate clear sprue here and assembly menu on the bottom obviously we will check them one by one and we will start with gray plastic sprues so just give me a second to use scissors and we will check everything closer in the meantime let me remind you that we are now trying to collect money for the new lenses and this lens should bring the better magnification in our video reviews and also a more sharp image so basically we will notably noticeably improve the quality of video reviews and if you would like to help us there is a donate button, uh, actually join button for the YouTube membership and the donate button is on our website so it's done via PayPal and it should be safe and quick. It is up to you which way you will choose but be sure that all this money will be actually helping us to grow. Okay, next I'm removing all the grey plastic sprues. So now I need a few seconds in order to get them out. I can see that something already broken I'm not sure why what is this <laughs> I'm not even sure what is that so it's some extra piece of plastic and here we have the broken off part nothing serious I hope it's not damaged but as you can see packaging in one plastic bag is universal for all brands so what you get is really you know, dangerous I would say shipping way of the kit. So here we get first grey plastic sprue, it comes in two pieces, here is another one. So I will zoom in a second so that you can see what we have here. So here we have all the necessary parts for the drivetrain bogies, also we have one piece parts for the road wheels and I think we can zoom in even closer so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Here they are and I mean that's the design of the original tank so you can't avoid it you will have to work with it but note the casting details it's really cool maybe I'll bring it even closer because here we have all the casting writings on the parts here you can check it and that's really nice I mean you can bring it out with weathering it will be visible on 135 scale so don't be lazy 
and work on these features because it will be really cool to have such uh, thing on the model and here you can check everything from the opposite side obviously we have some guiding elements which will help you with alignment and I think the whole assembly process will be quite easy it will be a bit tedious and repetitive because I mean you can't avoid it with suspension parts but that's what we will have to do and you will get a really nice result another good thing about this kit is that here we have another broken sprue. I'm not sure what is that. Maybe they just thrown some extra pieces inside, who knows. But as I said, here we have two additional plastic sprues. So these ones are dedicated to plastic cracks. And by the way, what is broken off is here. So this part should be placed here. How I guess this is this corner of the sprue. So you can notice maybe a place it like this so you can notice it's really a thin connection between the corners I'm not sure why it was done this way but just so that you know what we get here but what's really cool as I said is that we have plastic tracks here so you won't have to deal with vinyl parts and that's really nice because such parts are easier to paint in weather here you can see some features of the drive sprockets here are some tracks and here we have more track links and obviously all these sections are molded as a single piece parts again it is easier to place it on the tank and here you can check parts from the opposite side note that there are guiding pins inside which will help you with alignment and everything looks really cool I like what we have here so I don't think you will have any issues here next we start with uh, bigger plastic sprue because you have to assemble the main hull out of parts out of some parts and obviously it is not molded as a single piece part so that's why we have separate panels here and you will have to combine them but I would say that's pretty much standard design for Sherman kits so it's not surprising here we have some pioneer tools here we have all the panels and obviously this is not an interior kit so we do not get any internal elements so for example here you can see only the parts which will go on the external surfaces but still everything looks nice I like the rivets and I like all these pioneer tools they look quite convincing so and by the way they are molded together with not this one I think the other shovel and the axe they were molded together with clamps so maybe aftermarket sets will be actually tackling this problem by the way here we have the you can see that this towing cable broke off because it's not protected by anything but it's already pre-shaped and maybe some others will actually replace it completely with some metal wire because it would look even more convincing maybe even more flexible looking here you can see some casting marks on the front section of the lower hull and here you can check what I was talking about so we have X molded together with a clamp which is holding it in place and I think I would bet that aftermarket manufacturers will release PE parts which will actually replace this metal actually replace these clamps next we continue with another gray plastic sprue so here we have let's zoom out here we have two red parts of course all hatches are molded separately so it's really cool because you might open them in order to place the figures now we can zoom into the turret and you can see these nice casting marks which are also quite good to have on such visible part because you can use them with um, painting techniques also with weathering techniques next here we continue with main gun mantlet and also there was a machine gun here which is molded as a single piece part obviously nobody stops you from replacing this one with some resin kit in order to get even better appearance maybe just replacing the metal barrel will already change the whole result which you get here next we have some casting marks on the main gun mantlet and here main gun barrel is molded as a single piece part which is also nice because you won't have to deal with two piece assemblies but I wonder where is the uh, frontal part so I do not see here 
so maybe it comes on the separate sprue but so we get a lot of pre-molded features which were not possible before and that's really cool about this kit because I mean it will help you to get a really nice model out of the box let's say next we continue with another grey plastic sprue this one is slightly bigger let's zoom out a bit so here you can see we have a top hull cover and also here we have a lower hull cover we have some separate panels for the engine bay and we can zoom in so that you can check what we have pre-molded so rivets all the hatches and the same goes for the main hull so here you can see that we have some casting marks we have some rivets and casting marks look really nice here for example and also here and of course there are a lot of parts which will have to be installed separately here we continue with rear armor wall and what else here we have the radiator meshes for the engine compartment by the way this I think they will be also replaced with uh, metal parts or P parts maybe it is also a good thing to have them molded separately so that you can open it and place some resin uh, I would say addition or accessory set in order to replicate the engine inside but of course you will have to spend extra money for that because engine is not included here and one more sprue is the same type as we saw before so it is used for the drivetrain bogies and next we continue with a plastic bag which carries clear plastic sprues and here we have decals so just give me a second to open it okay so it's really nice to see that we have all periscopes copied with clear parts so I guess finally all manufacturers do this out of the box of course masks are not included but there are no other brands which actually include masks so it would be cool to see who will be first to include at least templates for the masks for these tiny parts because it's a bit tedious to cut everything for each part but molding quality again is really nice here we continue with the decals sheet so maybe we will close the camera a bit so that you can see more and here we have all necessary symbols of course professionals might want to copy some of them with help of templates and masks it is already up to you but printing quality seems to be fine so I don't have any complaints about these decals next we have various brochures so we can zoom out a bit first of all we have some safety advices nothing serious um, next we have marking guide for several marking options so as far as you can see four marking options here we have first pair of marking options and on the opposite side we have another pair of marking options obviously all tanks are you know, painted in green so there is not that much difference between them but again you can play with weathering you can play with some painting techniques in order to differentiate your model from a typical Sherman build next we continue with assembly manual so this one is usually printed as a black and white brochure so this one is not an exclusion we have short history notes some safety devices and also address of the manufacturer on the bottom and next we have parts map and as far as you can see there uh, there is no marking on which parts are not used for this build maybe they are all used who knows so assembly process starts with the turret as far as I can see and we will have to do a lot of steps in order to get various parts together and that's really nice because we get all these things out of the box you don't have to spend extra and as I said main barrel is also quite nice to have a you know, single piece part so we have muzzle and molded as a single piece elements and that's really a thing to note because as you remember in our recent Tamiya review they had it as a two piece and Zvezda provides it as a one piece so it's really strange to see uh, in Tamiya something really bad uh, which is not let's say according to the current level of technologies on the market next we continue with uh, hull assembly so here you have to work with uh, drivetrain bogies obviously so you can't avoid it and be ready to assemble all these parts several times in a row for each side and on the next 
page we can see some panels installation for the main hull. So what manufacturer proposes is to assemble the lower hull section and then to install the top cover separately. It is up to you what you will choose because obviously you can leave the tracks aside or maybe you can leave the whole drivetrain or chassis aside. It's up to you whether you would like to do so for painting purposes. Here we continue with uh, what is this? So we have Pioneer tools, we have towing cable and this one is not clear so let's zoom in. So here you can see you will have to cut out this thing maybe because it's written as you can see you should use this drawing for placing this part, this particular part, this thin one here you can see it and the same goes for the opposite side here it's quite interesting thing. So they provided template for placement of the part, but they did not provide any template for the painting of wheels and maybe painting of clear parts. <laughs> That's really funny. But it's really good to have at least this thing. And overall we have a really, I would say, nice copy of the Sherman in 135 scale. Obviously there is no interior, but not everybody needs it. And there are no figures, but it is also easy to solve because several brands already released their own sets of American Tankmen. If you know what I am talking about, we have reviews on our YouTube channel. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!